Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Robert Nelson back here with us today. And Robert's been in training camp now for how long? Three weeks. Three weeks now. So Texans are getting ready for the 2017-18 season. And Robert's coming in for a tune-up. Let's have you flex your head forward and backwards for me. And then neutral. Okay, so if you come over here I'll show you something mm -hmm. see Robert's head is forward and over to the right of center do you see that mm -hmm. you can see his ears dropping right here over his clavicle it should be back here over his shoulders to put his head up over his thoracic spine so when his head's forward the mechanoreceptors all the way down the paraspinal musculature all the way down to the lumbar spine mm -hmm. are having to work overtime just to hold his head up in gravity oh, wow. so that's changing <laughs> the neuroproprioceptive impulses that I was talking about that go into the cerebellum, which is the hindbrain, mm -hmm. controls 80% of all neurological function in the body. So what we're gonna do, see we're analyzing here, now his hands are a little bit out in front of him and his pelvis has shifted a little bit to the left of center. He's got a little more room over here on the right than he does on the left. So first thing I'm gonna do is bring him over here on this knee chest table. Robert, you're going to like this. It's a new adjusting table for you. Not for me, but for you. I'm going to have you on your knees here. Four. Yes, sir. And then put your face and chest up in here. Okay, so one of the heaviest stress areas in the entire spine is this thoracolumbar area. And this gets tight on you a lot right here, doesn't it, Robert? Mm -hmm. Okay, I want you just to kind of let this sag down in there. Just let it kind of bend and sag. So I'm contacting T10, 11, and 12 and adjusting it right there. Yes, sir? Okay. That's it. That was a deep one, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> Amherst told me you really wanted to get this. <laughs> right now is a, another form of an adjustment. I'm going to decompress his spine because gravity is doing what to us 24-7? Pulling us down towards the earth, right? So what I'm going to be doing is decompressing his spine from his skull all the way down to his sacrum because I'm fixating his iliac crest in right here. Bring his leg, legs up parallel with the floor so this relaxes his paraspinal musculature. His reflexes are a little low, especially on this right one. Do you look back and bother you more? Oh, uh, my knee. Your knee. Okay, nice and easy. There it is, right there. That's getting easier and easier, isn't it? It didn't hurt me a bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, look at that. That increased his reflex just doing that right there. That's how quickly the nervous system works. And I'm going to adjust his cervical spine. See, right now I am changing the biomechanical configuration of his vertebrae in his cervical, thoracic, and lumbar spine. That will reorient the proprioceptive neurological bombardment into the cerebellum, which changes then the efferent nerve supply to the organs, muscles, tissues, and cells. Okay, let's come over here on the tummy now, Robert. Home run. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I thought you might like that. <laughs> now, athletes put a lot of biomechanical stress on not just their spines, but their hips, their knees, their ankles, and all the joints of their body. And we treat all patients like this, but we especially treat our professional athletes, which we take care of several professional athletes, with full body type of treatment as opposed to just the spine and the pelvis. Because I'll be adjusting his knees, his ankles, his shoulders, elbows, wrist, everything. Right now I'm adjusting his sacroiliac joints bilaterally. And then 
his sacrum, which is the middle of the pelvis. This is a biophysics drop table. And remember a while ago we were talking about the physics of biology. An object in motion tends to stay in motion. So when I push his verb a certain direction, like for instance, this is in the z-axis. I'm already got that one. Over there on that knee chest table. Yes, sir. You hear the little popping noises? A lot of people think that's the bones cracking. That's not the bones cracking. That's just a nitrous gas bubble that explodes in the synovial joint when I open the joint up. And that's what fires off the proprioceptive neurological bombardment we were talking about. Legs are even. It was short. And that, did that hurt as much that time, Robert? No. Okay. So you're going to feel your head popping up a little bit here. Good. Okay, let's turn you on your back now, please, sir. Which knees bother me the most? This one right there. On the medial? Yeah. Uh, I have an extended, uh, what, two, three days ago. Did you get hit with doing that? No, or I just did a turn? Yeah, I stepped back too far and the high bridge stepped. Uh, just a little twist, bit. Twist, going backwards? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Not a wrap Okay. I'm bringing his head up and back over his thoracic spine so that we can normalize his cervical curve and put his head over his thoracic spine so that it causes less stress and strain on his paraspinal musculature from now see woo feel that woo that's loose there you go one more that's it you feel that one yeah And not only are we adjusting the joints, but we also work on the muscles that are responsible for that joint stability. This is sartorius muscle. It's the longest muscle in the body. It goes from an anterior superior iliac spine down to the medial aspect of his knee, and his medial meniscus is right there. Is that sore at all? Yes, uh, Up higher? Okay. Right there? Yeah, that's the medial meniscus, all right. So instead of injecting him or giving him a pill to do this, I am mechanically stimulating this so that his body can heal itself. And then the tensor fascia lata, which a lot of people call the IT band, and work on the muscle spindles there. Tibialis anterior here. And then I'm going to adjust his ankles for him too. There you go. He knows to hang on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's sit just face that away. Yeah, that was an elbow. So see I'm adjusting his shoulders, his elbows, and his wrists. We adjusted his hips, knees, and ankles and now also his digits. See, all these joints that I am moving fires off neurological proprioceptive input into the cerebellum. So we're stimulating his entire nervous system to put his body more in homeostasis and function normally. Okay, good. Let's stand up here in front of the mirror. Now, this, this particular treatment this is an atlas adjusting specific instrument that delivers a high velocity, low amplitude thrust. I'm going to put his body in a mirror image of his current configuration. Okay, let's flex you forward and backwards one more time, please, sir. And then neutral. So see, he's still a little forward and over to the right, so we're not having to pull his shoulders up. And then back simultaneously, flare these back here. Now see, forward head posture is a big issue, so he's forward and to the left, so we're gonna bring him back a little bit to the right and then look back at the ball. I'm gonna tap his atlas on the x-axis. This is right over the medulla oblongata. It sends a neurological 
proprioceptive input into the cerebellum. The cerebellum controls balance, posture, coordination, and all kinesthetic movement throughout the body. So try that again, Robert. Tell me if this feels any smoother to you. Did that feel smoother than the previous one? Yeah. Very good. Yes, sir. You more, you're lined up better right now. The little curve in your neck now, actually. So you, you've had treatment here now several times over the past couple of years. And what would you tell people about the importance of seeing a chiropractor versus taking drugs or having surgery? I mean, well, I never, I never really took drugs. I don't like taking them. Uh, I like the way, you know, someone manually adjusted me know makes it feel and you know I could I could say from my experience um, you know something that a, a drug would have would have done it would have took two three days you know just to get through my body to numb the pain I remember uh, I hurt my back and I think it was 11 o'clock you know I, I had I called you crying man yeah like, <laughs> my back was really hurting and uh, you told me to come on in and you know you adjusted me and I was ready to go tomorrow I mean the next day for practice yeah. and everything and I really I couldn't walk at all and uh, so I mean this this been the best adjustment I ever had so I mean that's just that's a so chiropractic is really a a lifestyle choice right and a and a healthcare choice right. as opposed to getting injections or taking medications or having surgery right I think when you take uh, medications it numbs the pain and you still hurt and you can get even more injured right, in right, you're doing that right so see that's the education and the mindset he's a professional athlete he knows the importance of normal health and well-being and function mm -hmm. a lot of people in our society do not share that same education or uh, enthusiasm about their performance his performance is everything you know in professional football so we're trying to increase his peak level of performance by increasing his biomechanical integrity of his spine and his nervous system and allow his nervous system to function without being interrupted and that's what chiropractic care is. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson and Robert Nelson coming to you from Houston, Texas at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. We'll see y'all soon.